Want to learn how to make pizza? Here's my easy weeknight pizza recipe. To make this pizza dough, you'll need two and a half cups of white flour, then one teaspoon of salt, instant yeast, sugar, and olive oil. That's one teaspoon for each ingredient. Then just one cup of warm water and you're ready to make pizza. Start by pouring your warm water directly in the mixing bowl. Then pour the yeast, then the sugar, and then the olive oil directly into that mixture. Once you've got it all poured in, mix it around a little with your hand or with a wooden spoon. Then you're going to add the dry ingredients. Flour first, then the salt on top of the flour. Then just mix everything together with a wooden spoon until all the ingredients are incorporated and ready to start kneading. Once your dough looks about like this, turn it out onto the clean counter and start kneading. The true purpose of kneading is to develop gluten in the dough, but don't worry about that right now. Just focus on trying to clean up all those dry bits of flour that are on the counter. Try to incorporate those into the dough ball. By the end of three to four minutes of kneading, you shouldn't have any dry bits of flour left on the counter and your dough should be ready to go. There we go. Three to four minutes later, your dough should look something like this. Just take a towel and cover it up and let the dough rest for five minutes before you move on to the next step. Five minutes later, after the dough has had a chance to relax, it's time to cut this into two individual dough balls. If you want to leave this as one big pizza, that's fine. It'll just be bigger. Cut this as evenly down the middle as you can, and that should give you two equal pieces. Try to form this into a ball, just rounding it out, tucking and folding the dough under itself, keeping the smooth side on top and the seam side underneath. There you go, dough ball. Then do the same thing with the other piece of dough. After that, you're gonna cover these up and let them rise on your counter for an hour and a half. The perfect amount of time to get your ingredients ready and to preheat your oven as hot as it'll go. After an hour and a half, your doughs should be about twice as big as they were before and they should be ready to make pizza. You can bake directly on a pizza stone if you have one. Otherwise, grab a pizza pan or a baking sheet and dust it with some cornmeal if you have it. Now it's time to divide these and shape one of your dough balls into a pizza crust. So go ahead and take some white flour and sprinkle the top of that dough ball. Then just flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing to the other side, sprinkling a little bit of the flour on top. Then gently press around the dough, leaving air in the crust area. That's gonna become your crust later in the oven. So I like to flatten out the center, but leave air on the sides. Then I like to pick up the dough like this and let gravity do its work. I just kind of keep turning it like you're driving a car, leaving air in the crust, but just letting gravity pull down on the dough. It kind of widens out the dough. Then do a few of these stretches with your hands, and boom, you got a 12 inch pizza crust. Now just enjoy the process of topping your easy weeknight pizza. Use whatever kind of sauce you want, whatever kind of cheese you want, whatever toppings you want, really anything goes. There are no rules here. Once you top your pizza with whatever you're topping your pizza with, throw it in the 500 degree oven for six to seven minutes or until the cheese starts to bubble. And after six to seven minutes, your pizza should look something like this. After the pizza cools for about a minute, go ahead and slice. Then just step back and enjoy your masterpiece. This was how to make pizza dough, my version of an easy weeknight pizza. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And if you want to learn how to make better bread, sourdough, and pizza at home, hit that red subscribe button down below. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Later.